All right, guys. This is my presentation on Mr. Evans' St. Patrick's Day presentation, St. Patty's Day. The four-leaf clover. Yep. How to draw a four-leaf clover. Let's pause it. Okay, now. The, the leaves has four clovers. And do you know how many four-leaf clovers they have? How many? Four. Right. Okay. Go on to the next slide. Leprechaun. If you catch a leprechaun, you will get his pot of gold. So, you, so how many, uh, do any of you, uh, how many of you have seen a leprechaun? None of them. You've seen them on TV. You've seen them on TV, huh? I've seen Lucky Charms. You have seen Lever You have seen Lucky Charms, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how many of you have ate Lucky Charms cereal? I did. Okay. So, he's a little leprechaun. Yeah. So if you catch a leprechaun, you will get this pot of gold. Leprechaun. <clears throat> Um, alright, so, alright, so, um, this is what a leprechaun looks like. Uh-huh. Okay, guys, so he has a small picture up there. And, and you guys see this, uh, small picture right here? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Leprechaun, if you catch a leprechaun, you will get his pot of gold. Ring, ring, or get pinched. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got this part. Yeah. Let's read it. Wear green or get pinched. Irish Americans in the Irish Americans in the 19th century popularized the wearing of green as a way to express Irish unity and pride. If you didn't band together in the celebrity of greenness, you could get, expect a pinch as a little slap on the wrist for not participating. 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 And guys, if you do not wear green, the red, the leprechaun can pinch you. Yeah. And you don't want the leprechaun to get pinched, do you? No. No. Okay. Um, now back to this. Uh, if you catch a leprechaun, you'll get his part of gold. Leprechaun. I love leprechauns. And sorry, guys, if you hear the announcements. Sorry, that's the announcements. Sorry, I apologize for. I apologize for that. So, yeah, we're agreeing or get pinched. Because you got, I don't, I bet some of you guys don't want to get pinched. I don't want to get pinched. Mm -mm. I know, I know, I know. I know what you're saying, but leprechaun, if you catch a leprechaun, like I said, you won't get his pot of gold. So, you know how much I love gold, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. Now I think we're on the last slide here. All right, I'm gonna read this hell out to you, uh, to you guys. Yeah, Irish Americans in the 19th century popularized the wearing of green as a way to as a way to express Irish unity and pride. If you didn't band together in the solidarity greenness. You can expect a pinch as a little slap on the wrist for not participating. I'm going to tell you guys about St. Patrick's Day. So, St. Patrick's Day was originally in Ireland. Yeah. And it's a holiday that, and it's a holiday that we celebrate. Right? I think so. Wow, this is going to be, this is awesome. So... So yeah, I love St. Patrick's Day so much, and it's celebrated on March 17th, every year, on March 17th, and pretty much Irish, you can wear green or pick, get pinched. So if you guys don't wear green, you, you will get, you'll probably get pinched by the leprechaun. So yeah. Is that it? No. All right, I'm gonna look up, um, I'm gonna tell you guys more about St. Patrick's Day. 
like. Um, I'm gonna read you guys this. So, let's read. St. Patrick, Patrick's Day, or the Feast of St. Patrick, is a cultural or wager celebration held on March, March 17th. The traditional death day of St. Patrick, the four mom portrait of sign of Ireland. So I'm gonna So I'm gonna go on Wikipedia and I'm gonna read all read all of this to you guys. So here we go. St. Patrick's Day, or the feast of St. Patrick, the day of festival of Patrick is a cultural and ritualist celebration held on March 17th. The Dutch you know, Traditional death day of St. Patrick, the foremost of patron saints of Ireland. St. Patrick's Day was made on the official Christian feast day in the early 17th century and is observed by the Cold Hall Church. The Ellen and the Communion, especially the Church of Ireland, the Eastern Ear Dogs, I don't know what that is, or Ear Dogs Church and the Leprechaun Church, the day common traits, St. Patrick. St. Patrick and the arrival of Christian art in Ireland and celebrates the Hordridge culture and the Irish of general. Celebrations generally involve Patrick parades and festivals. In the wearing, in the wearing of grain, all trades of shamrock. Christians who belong to liturgical, there are many occasions, also attend church services in history of the world. That Linton restrictions on eating and drinking alcohol were lifted for the day. Which has encoded and appropriated the holiday's transition of alcohol and petition. Saint Patrick's Day is a public holiday is a public holiday in the Republic of Ireland, Nova Ireland, the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labour. The Bur Bur Princess pencil government employees and the British overseas temporary of Mansuri. It is also widely celebrated in the United Kingdom, Canada, United States, Ireland, Argentina, Australia, and New Zealand, especially among us, Irish, Dispera, Dispera. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in more countries than, than any other national festival. Modern celebrations has been greatly influenced by those of the Irish Dispera, particularly in those that developed in North America. However, However, though, there has, there has been criticism of St. Patrick's Day celebrations for having becoming too, too commercialized one for fourth, fostering down to the serial types of the Irish people. And, and the, next time it's gonna cel the next time we're going to celebrate it is on March 17th of 2023. All right. I'm going to read you guys about St. Patrick's. St. Patrick was a fifth and a Century of Renio British Christian Mrs. Mission Zinnery Bishop in Ireland. Much of what is known about St. Patrick comes from the collation, which was all written by Patrick himself. It is believed that he was born. He is, it is believed that he was born in Renan Britain in the fourth century and to a regularly Renio British family. His father was a deacon and his grandfather was a priest in the Christian Church. According to the declaration at the age of 16, he was kidnapped by Irish raiders and taken as a slave to Ireland. Ireland. It says that he spent six years there working as a shepherd and, and that during this time he found God. He found God. The declaration says that God told Patrick to flee to the cost where a ship would be waiting to take him home. After making his way home, Patrick went on to become a priest. Um, according to her protection, Patrick returned to Ireland to, con to convert the Patrickan Irish to Christian Christianity. The, the declaration says that he spent many years living as a link in the northern half of Ireland and converted thousands. Patrick's efforts were eventually turned into an elegy, which he drove snakes out of Ireland. Despite the fact that snakes were not known to inhabit the region, tradition holds that he died on March 17th and was buried in Del Patrick. Now, I'll explain Del Patrick, I'll explain it in the, in, a follow, in the following video. In the following century, many legends grew up around Patrick and he became Ireland's foremost saint. All right, since 2010, a 
according to legend, St. Patrick used the three-leaved shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity to Irish um, pageants. So, wearing green. Well, this is a lot to read, but I don't feel like reading this today. I'll, I'll read this in sometime in, in next year's video. But, Ireland, a St. Patrick's Day parade in Darkland, a Darkland January post office and the spire in O'Connell straight on St. Patrick's Day. So, we're just going to look at some information on where this came from, how it came from. 2009 St. Patrick's Day Festival celebration in Coldbridge, Scotland. Yeah, Scotland. The, Ch Ch the Chicago River died great. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder why they did that. I wonder what that is. New Zealand. This is just the information about St. Patrick's Day. And, and, uh, you know? And, and, you know? I think that's it.